What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender free add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on that allows you to quickly add cables inside of your Blender models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So Geo Cables is a free add-on from Amon Deep and you can find this on his Gumroad page. I will link to this in the notes down below. So in order to download this for free, you can just type in a value of zero and click on the I want this. You can also put in a monetary value in here um, and donate to the developer. So I would recommend doing that if you can, um, just to support his creation of cool things like this. But either way, you can get this from his Gumroad page. Then you just download it and install it like any other add-on inside of Blender. And what you do wanna do is you wanna make sure that you've enabled Geo Cables in your uh, add-ons once you've installed this. And so then once you do this, you can click on the little menu on the right-hand side if you tap the N key for A tools, and that's gonna give you access to the Geo Cables menu right here. And so notice how we've got a couple different options in here. To start off, we wanna click on the option for edit slash create cables. And so notice how it tells you if you mouse over it that you can create cables by clicking on faces. So if I click on this, and then I click on a face in Blender, and then I click on a second face, notice what it's gonna do is it's going to generate cables between those two first faces. And notice how I get a menu on the lower left-hand side of my screen that's gonna show me information about those. And so notice if I scroll my mouse wheel up and down, it's going to adjust the number of cables that are created. I can also hold the S key and move my mouse in order to set the separation of the cables. I can hold the D key to set how far those cables are going to fall down. So I can use this in order to really kind of adjust the way these come together. Um, and then I can also, if I want to, I can hold the control and left mouse button keys and let's say that we were to rotate around and I'm gonna hold control and left mouse button. Notice how that snapped a new endpoint to my curve to the center of this face. If I do it again, it's gonna do it again over here. You can also hold the shift key and click to connect to the closest endpoint. You can hold the alt key and click on the left mouse button in order to add a new split. So like for example, if I was to click on this point right here with the Alt key held, notice how it added a split in there and I got additional cables. So I can hold the S key to adjust all of these. Um, so it's really pretty intuitive to use. And then once you're done, you can just right click in order to confirm that. And so the cool thing about this is this is being generated with geometry nodes, right? Even though we've created this, um, I can still adjust these by going into the geometry node settings over here, which I really like because it kind of seems like this is, uh, it seems like this is kind of replacing in a lot of ways the little menus that pop up over here. By the way, this is not going away and I'm not sure why. Um, I'm sure it'll go away if I restart Blender. But um, what we're not getting over here is the little menus that disappear. Instead, what I've got is I've got settings right here that I can use to adjust um, the size of my cables, right? So this is kind of a, I don't wanna say non-destructive because we're not really like destroying anything anyway, but it's something where you can come back and make adjustments. So like for example, I can adjust the main drip right here. I can adjust the randomness of the drip as well as the seed, so I can kind of randomize that. Then I can control the other things down here as well, so things like my separation. Notice how if I use my separation like this, then um, it's going to adjust that separation the same as it did when we initially placed this. So we can also adjust the direction that the cable is going, though that one is a little bit limited. You can adjust the count of cables in here like this. You can add more or less. Um, and then you can also adjust some other things too. So one of the ones I really like is you also have the ability to add a twist. And so if I adjust the sub count up like this, maybe to something like three, and then I turn this up a little bit and I add a twist, notice how I can actually use this to create twisting cables in here as well. So I don't just have to create straight cables like this, this will allow you to add that uh, those twisting cables. Notice how you can adjust the number of cables that are created in here with that by adjusting this sub count. And so another cool thing that you can do is this comes with multiple different connectors. And so actually, if you scroll down on this page, there's more information on how this add-on works. So if I scroll down here, for example, um, he talks about the inputs, um, gives you a little bit of information on how to use the tool, but it also shows you that it comes with these five connectors. So it comes with connectors built in, and if you add the connectors in here, so if you click on the button for add shipped connectors, what that's gonna do is that's gonna add connectors to this object. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my sub count in here. Um, 
right here just so we can kind of see these a little bit better. Um, this doesn't necessarily work as good with the twist, but notice how what we can do is we can use this in order to quickly add connectors to our cables. So I can adjust the number of connectors in here. So notice how I get different plugs and other things like that. I can also adjust the scale of those connectors up and down. So usually a little bit smaller is probably gonna be a little bit better, but notice how we can use this in order to add those kind of quickly inside of our scene. And so there's another cool op option up here for creating cables using an object's edges. So let's say for example that I was to add, um, let's go with, uh, let's just add a plane over here and then we'll tab into edit mode and we'll just subdivide this a couple times. So we'll keep it pretty simple. So I'm going to subdivide this like this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the option for object to cables. What that does is that takes all of the edges inside of the object and it turns it into cables. So you can use this in order to quickly add cables based on those objects. So let's say we had something simpler. So maybe just like a simple plane over here. If I did the same thing, it's going to take those four edges and turn them to cables. So a pretty cool function. Then another thing you can do is you can also move into edit mode and you can actually edit the location of those cables like this. So you can use this in order to live adjust and live edit the cables. And because this is based on geometry nodes, you always have access to the settings over here on the right hand side of the page. All right, and so let's say we created a custom connector like this one. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my own collection. So I'm just gonna add a new collection. I'm gonna call it custom connectors. And I'm going to move my cylinder into that connector right here. Well now, notice if you have like a series of cables like this one, you can actually set the collection of connectors in here. So if I click on this and I go to my custom connections and then I add connectors, so I'm gonna turn my number of connectors up a little bit, but I can actually add my own custom connectors in here. And notice how I can adjust the seed in order to place where those are on these uh, curves. Note that occasionally you get one of these, it's just kind of on the end and it doesn't align very very well. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but you can just adjust the seed so that you don't have any of those inside of your scene. So you can use this in order to add a bunch of connect custom connectors to your cables as well. So you don't get a ton of like, uh, you don't get a ton of control over where they go. It's more random, but it's still a pretty cool function. And then one final thing to note is right now these corners don't look very good, right? So if you look at these corners, um, they just kind of like start in space. Well, there is an option in here for corner rings that you can turn on and you can use this in order to place corner rings inside of this surface. So what that's gonna allow you to do is that's gonna allow you to place these rings up here. So these look like they're actually mounted instead of just ending right here. Now I don't believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't believe there's a way to add a custom ring in here right now. I haven't looked into that one too much, but you can use this in order to add some kind of connectors inside of your scene as well. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this add-on. I will link to some other geometry node add-ons on this page as well. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.